Road food's not fun, <laughs> so I always try to have something that's a little more healthy for them. We do want them to feel at home. Yeah. <laughs> the musicians that are touring and the people coming in. Well, first of all, making the atmosphere comfortable. And that's what we're doing here. That's why we created this place, is to have an opportunity for artists to present their work in an environment conducive to hearing it with sophisticated listeners. So without any further ado, what do you say? Darren Johnston. So we, we, we kind of set up the basement rooms, like kind of like a So we were to like take the day <laughs> off before and the yeah. day off after. We yeah. It was a two-day event. It was a two-day event for me because I did a lot of cleaning. <laughs> then I would make breakfast the next morning, a big, giant breakfast. So, some of the best, <laughs> best times we had but we were, had at, so were at that fun. breakfast. Oh, we no. had so much fun, though. In 2014, I went to play for y'all, and we ended up uh, spending the night in y'all's basement as we <laughs> were And prior to that, you made a, an amazing meal for us, and we had a really nice hang. I think my my request for evidence from the visa guys, they were asking for extra evidence, and I was like, what evidence do I have? And I was like, oh, I've got the gig. So y'all wrote this really amazing letter for me so that I could uh, get my artist visa. The hospitality that you've extended to me goes well beyond a place where I can go and showcase my music every once in a while. You know, it's a place where we can be ourselves. It's a place that has allowed me to be home in this country, you know. It's a place where I learned s'mores. <laughs> you all taught me what s'mores are. <laughs> also, I should say this is probably our last tune for the set. So uh, thank you so much. I'll say right now, thank you so much for being here. And uh, thank you to the Merrimans for having us. And uh, uh, please come up and say hi. Uh, we do bite, but we don't scratch, so it's cool. I always feel like we're friends with the uh, musicians at, by the end of the night it's like they're kind of part of the family <laughs> there's a bro there's like a brotherhood i feel like they're my they're all my jazz brothers you know yeah. <laughs> i do i really truly feel like that there is a need for these artists to have us here they need us you know and we really we really learned that early on it's a not stop if we can possibly help, <laughs> you know? So that's really carried us a long way into, into being able to do that now, here, and in the future. Yes. <laughs> Well, so I was uh, born and raised in South Louisiana, so I, uh, jazz is a huge part of the culture, and uh, there's a huge scene down there, especially in the New Orleans area, so I came here, I, I felt like I woke up on Frenchman Street down in, in New Orleans, and 
got to real hear some really great jazz music and uh, just I love the ambience, the the sense of community here, the sense of connection. Uh, there's a you can feel the passion emanating from the stage, and so what's not to love?